Today, my friends, we still face difficult days ahead. We still have work to do, mountains to climb and out obstacles to overcome. We cannot stop striving yet. They won't get easier, life's challenges. But they will become more intricate, tricky. But when life's complexities confuse us, when the paradoxical ironies of existence surprise us, and when we are troubled by the uncontrollable external entities, both spiritual and physical, we must remember our ABCs. No, not the alphabet English majors of reading and writing. <laughs> But the ABCs of life, and once we've learned them, we should take them with us as we let our lives do the singing. We should take the A and accept the challenge. The B and believe in ourselves. The C, convert our thoughts into to hopes. And the, the D, the determination to convert our hopes into dreams. We should E, expect some obstacles on the way up and F, fight while being faithful and finish the course. We should G, get God on our side. And H, have a Harvey model of leadership. We should I inspire someone else and J take Jesus on our journey. We should K keep on keeping on and L be a leader. We should M make every day count and N never give up. We must O overcome our obstacles and P put our best foot forward. We must Q quit quitting and R run the race with patience. We must S strive on while T trusting in the Lord. We should U use our talents and V value our time. We should W wait for understanding and X x-ray our own lifestyles. We should Y yearn to achieve all that we seek and Z be zealous when reaching the top. Yes. Yes, we can reach the top. The road ahead is not going to be easy. It never is, especially for folks like you and me. Because while we've come so far, the truth is that those age-old problems are stubborn. And they haven't fully gone away. So there will be times, just like for those airmen, when you feel like folks look right past you or they see just a fraction of who you really are. The world won't always see you in those caps and gowns. They won't know how hard you worked and how much you sacrificed to make it to this day. The countless hours you spent studying to get this diploma, the multiple jobs you worked to pay for school, the times you had to drive home and take care of your grandma, the evenings you gave up to volunteer at a food bank or organize a campus fundraiser, they don't know that part of you. Instead, they will make assumptions about who they think you are based on their limited notion of the world. And my husband and I know how frustrating that experience can be. We've both felt the sting of those daily slights throughout our entire lives. The folks who crossed the street in fear of their safety. The clerks who kept a close eye on us in all those department stores. The people at formal events who assumed we were the help. And those who have questioned our intelligence, our honesty, even our love of this country. And I know that these little indignities are obviously nothing compared to what folks across the country are dealing with every single day those nagging worries that you're going to get stopped or pulled over for absolutely no reason, the fear that your job application will be overlooked because of the way your name sounds, the agony of sending your kids to schools that may no longer be separate but are far from equal, the realization that no matter how far you rise in life, how hard you work to be a good person, a good parent, a good citizen. For some folks, it will never be enough. And all of that is going to be a heavy burden to carry. It can feel isolating. It can make you feel like your life somehow doesn't matter that you're like the invisible man that Tuskegee grad Ralph Ellison wrote about all those years ago. And as we've seen over the past few years, those feelings are real. They're rooted in decades of structural challenges that have made too many folks feel frustrated and invisible. 
And those feelings are playing out in communities like Baltimore and Ferguson and so many others across this country. But graduates, today I want to be very clear.